get some warm water. Oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> okay, hang on. You know, don't waste water though. That's my biggest dilemma is when you turn the water on, but it's cold, but you don't want to waste water. It's like, what do you do? Do you use the cold water or do you just like, or do you wait? You know, what do you do? Do you have no money? Do you have flaky, dry skin because of it? And because it's winter? Well, me too. And I don't really have a solution, but I wanted to share my skincare routine as a woman who doesn't have stacks and stacks to drop on some vitamin G, oil, serum, extract, face wash. So I hope this helps you out or gives you something fun to watch nonetheless. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs> How's it going? It's currently, if you're wondering, it is 10.15 p.m. And I was just sitting here thinking like, okay, I need to, you know, do the usual shower, do my skincare routine and all that kind of stuff. And so I was like, I was just thinking about my skincare routine. Actually today I had just watched a beauty gurus, YouTubers, Skincare, skincare routine and it had like 20 steps. Actually, let me sit down because this is, this is not working. Okay. Hey, anyways. Okay, so I, like I said, I just came back from the gym and I was like, I was thinking how I need to do my skincare routine, need to wash my face and all that kind of stuff. And I had watched a YouTuber's makeup routine and she had, girl a sister had like by the vitamin a she had the vitamin b c d e f g a she had the moisturizers she had the creams and i was just thinking like is she like an esthetician like why does she have so much stuff and i just felt so sad about my skincare routine and you know honestly and just thinking about it i'm just like girl why are you sad like your skin is okay it's not you know What's the problem? The problem is I am currently job searching right now. So, you know, I'm living with my family, which is okay because, you know, I'm Latina in the Latina culture. You, Latino culture, you just kind of, you stay with your family. They don't kick you out when you're 18. I mean, not all the time. The reason, okay, I don't have a 25 step skincare routine is because a sister is broke, okay? She's broke. So, I'm gonna show you today my broke skincare routine because honestly, I think it's working. I thankfully, like I said before, I have not had any really bad acne problems in my life. I think it's just genetics. I thank the Lord above that I have not had bad skin problems. Like, this is the problem. So let's get our skin all clean, you know what I'm saying. And let me show you that you don't need a lot of money to have a skincare routine. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. So before we actually get started, I wanted to show you my cute little skincare corner. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. I've had this box since I was literally a child. Um, but I think it's so cute. It's Hello Kitty. Look how cute it is. Oh my God. Um, but yes, this is my skincare corner. It's super tiny because this is broke, like I said. But um, yeah, this is where I put like some of my products, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is the moisturizer I use. She is real cute, it's really good. It's the Clinique uh, ID. And it's the one where you can choose the thing that goes inside of it. And girl, if I could remember, I would tell you what I put inside of it, but it's basically the one that gives you glowy skin. And then the outside part, the clear gel, is a dramatically different hydrating jelly. And then this one is the Watermelon Sleeping Mask. And this is a product that I actually splurged on a little bit, um, but it's pretty good so far. It's really fun to apply because it comes with this little amplicator. It's so cute. But yeah, it smells divine and it's pretty good it's really good for dry skin I have been loving that it's been really nice and then for actual 
you know, fancy stuff, you know what I'm saying? I've had this for a long time, but I really like it. I think it's working pretty well. It's the Vitamin C Serum by Mario Badescu, and it's pretty good. I don't wear it every day because I don't think you should. I read the instructions. It told me not to wear it every day, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I have this. This isn't really skin hair related. It's more hair related. So I have like a little bald patch on my eyebrow and I've been putting this on it and it's actually been working pretty well. I got this from the brow lady who does my eyebrows. So yes. And it was really cheap. Castor oil, oil is very cheap and it's good for growing hair if you, you know, you know. Okay, so here is my basket of random stuff. Um, in here, this is actually the makeup remover I use. My mom also got me this, because again, I'm broke at the moment. But I love this stuff, it's so good. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off. And I actually used to use this because I was too cheap to buy the Clinique one, so I bought this one and I actually used it up. It's split in half and you have half of it is the cleansing oil and the other half is a cleansing cream. It's like the double cleanse, so pretty good. But, yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is wash my face. First things first, I'm gonna remove my makeup with this Clinique Take the Day Off, the mini version, because I'm broke. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna stop saying I'm broke. I'm sorry, that's kind of annoying. This stuff is so good. It removes it like butter. Oh my god, an eyelash went into my eyeball. <gasps> Get some warm water. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> okay, hang on. Don't waste water though. That's my biggest dilemma is when you turn the water on, but it's cold, but you don't want to waste water. It's like, what do you do? Do you use the cold water or do you just like, or do you wait? You know, what do you do? Let's do it. Ready? One, two. Oh, everyone. The next thing I'm gonna do, you know, I may be broke, but I'm not broke enough to not double cleanse. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna use this stuff. And I know I talk about like being broke, but then I show like nice products. What I mean by this is <clears throat> the money I do have I invest in good products, but I don't have a million products, you know? But I don't have a lot of it. Like my skincare routine is like four steps. Okay, so this stuff is amazing. I love it, it's so good. It is youth to the people, kale, and green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser. It is so good, oh my gosh. So again, wash my face. Okay, the water is getting a little bit warmer is nice. Okay, a little bit. Wash it off. Pat dry. Because you know what they say. Don't rub dry because that will do something bad to your skin. I don't know what exactly it does, but that's what they say. And with that, I am officially out <laughs> of my product. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's go back to my room and let's finish this routine. My skin is like, it's like so tight. So that's the problem that I have with having super dry skin, at least in the winter time, is that when I wash my face, I feel like I can't, I can't talk. I feel like I have Botox, like I can't express myself, you know? Now that my skin is like Botoxed up, you know, I desperately need this, the Clinique moisturizer that I showed you earlier. I'm going to take like, you know, 10 pumps of this. If you really want like a hashtag like broke girl, broke guy hack for skincare, my sister actually uses coconut oil to remove her makeup. I know there's other things that you can use, like natural oils, if you want to save, like really, really save the money. Um, but yeah, maybe my sister should make this video because I feel like 
my stuff is still kind of bougie. And then I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum that I told you guys earlier, about earlier. I'm gonna use like, I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Hang on, does it have any instructions? Yes, three to four drops. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, that feels so good. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm done. I hope that you enjoyed my broke uh, skincare routine. Uh, it wasn't really that broke, but I just felt like I would show you that you don't need, you don't need like 10 steps. I'm sure there's a lot of things wrong. Maybe I'm not supposed to mix certain things together that I mix together, I don't know. But it's been working for me. My skin has been pretty good lately and she's been smooth she's just been a little bit dry but yeah so if you have any recommendations by the way for like dry skin remedies or like moisturizers or you know stuff like that let us know because i feel like i could use that happy 2020 um yes thanks for watching i'll see you next time